going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and today, guys, we we finally have the new games that are going into Game Pass for the month of August um, unveiled today uh, by Larry Herb on Twitter. And I gotta say, it's a really uh, I, I like this list of games that are going to Game Pass. For people who don't know, Game Pass is a subscription service. Uh, you pay ten dollars a month. You have unlimited access to over a hundred games, and um, with that being said, Xbox has said they're going to add in, you know, new games on, on a monthly basis. They will also take away games um, as they see fit as well. I'm not sure if they took any games away this time, but I do see that they put in uh, seven new games. So let's get into what games they are putting in, which are actually available right now. Today, it is the first of the month, so you can go ahead and download these games if you have Game Pass and, and try them out. Now, uh, first one on the list, I'm going to hit with the, the one that I find the most interesting, which is the newest Hitman. Hitman Season 1, and it's an episodic, I, I believe you get the entire first season on Game Pass, and I am interested in this. I am a Hitman fan i want to see the new hitman uh in terms of where they're going with the contracts and stuff like that i i didn't get the game i didn't buy any episodes or anything like that and now i'll be able to play it in game pass because of this subscription service so i'm really excited about that but let's go next on the list is an xbox one launch game rise Son of Rome. Now I know a lot of people um, out there have played Rise Son of Rome. For people who are new to the Xbox One, uh, if you have, uh, you know, you're paying the ten dollars a month for for Game Pass, or if you got a code for like a free month, I highly suggest playing this game. It does, you know, in my opinion, it's one one of the better looking games this generation, which is saying a lot because it is a launch title. For the Xbox One. So this game came out in 2013 and in my opinion to this day it still looks incredible. So definitely check out that game if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, next on the list is a 360 title and uh, it is a franchise I know a lot of people who are fans of and they are offering Dead Rising 2 uh, going into Game Pass this month. Now I know Dead Rising 2 is a little bit of an iffy situation either you love Dead Rising 2 or you hate it because it has a new main character there's a new situation going on but it does really um bump up the whole crafting uh weapons and vehicles and stuff like that to a totally different level than the original Dead Rising so if you haven't tried that definitely try that um another title The Escapist now for people who don't know, The Escapist, it's it's an 8-bit kind of like a uh, prison break game. You have to go in and you have to form allies, get tools to escape prison. But this is the Walking Dead edition. So basically, you are escaping situations in which you are surrounded by zombies and stuff like that. So uh, for people who are fans of The Walking Dead, this is a great title to jump into and try out. Um, they even have a title, you know, kind of aimed in the direction of the kids out there with uh, Disney's Rush. Disney's Rush is on Game Pass. I, I don't have a lot to say about that game. I'm not really into Disney games. So, you know, I can either take it or leave it. But it, it's there. It's in Game Pass. You can download it and play it today. Um, a couple smaller titles, a couple more like indie titles is a game called Ruiner which I definitely have an interest in in trying. Um, I have a couple friends who have who have said this game is good. I'm not really sure exactly what it is about, but it is in Game Pass. I do have that subscription service, so I will be downloading and trying that game out. And the last game is a game called Dandara, and I saved it for last because I have no idea what it is. But all in all, seven new games going into Game Pass this month. You can download them today if you have the subscription service. And if you follow my channel, you know I am a big fan of Game Pass. I think it's uh, something uh, very innovative when it comes to console gaming. A subscription service where you, know, you have over 100 games that you can download and play. Only $10 a month. And not only that, it's a great value because... 
when these uh, Xbox One exclusives come out, like in October, it's Forza Horizon 4, uh, on the worldwide release date, you can actually download and play that game through Game Pass right off the bat. So you don't have to even buy the new exclusive games, you can have this uh, subscription service and download the new exclusives uh, what they call day in day. So to me it's a huge value. I like what I'm seeing here when it comes to August and the new games they're putting into Game Pass and I am looking forward to Hitman and Ruiner. Um, I beat Rise Son of Rome but maybe I'll go back in and, and do the multiplayer, the, the uh, gladiator arena type multiplayer. Um, but Dead Rising 2, Escapist, The Walking Dead, uh, Disney's Rush, Dandara and Ruiner. Ruiner is something I, I really wanna I wanna check out and see exactly what type of game that is. But um, as usual, guys, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think about these games going into Game Pass. Uh, let me know if you do have Game Pass in yourself and if you enjoy it, or if you skipped out on it. Uh, let me know. Let me know why. Let me know why you think this uh, service for ten dollars a month might not be your cup of tea. But as usual guys, if you like the topics, you like the gameplay, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off. Trying to get demons up out of me. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Beast. Deceasing opponents so properly. Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Dark. We come to take this shit over.